Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Uh, I think for now, what I'm gonna do, I've been figuring, you know, I've been doing a little, little considering. What I'm probably gonna do is do like a normal hard run or like a classic hard run in the morning or like the, the first run of the day. And then in the evening, we'll do something wacky. Today, I think I'm gonna run for the evening. Today, we're just gonna play classic hard to start. But for the evening, I think we're gonna play a little, uh, Nightmare Mode. I've seen a lot of people talking about that, a lot of people interested in that one. So you can let me know in the comments of this video uh, what you would like to see though, and I will maybe read them, but it's kind of a busy Saturday for me. But let's get to it, shall we? I love, look, they show me an R0.1, they give me a 10 percenter, I click this shit. Oh baby, three oranges. It's a shame because I think I'm gonna have to reroll because I do not believe I can click on these curses. And I'll lock more than one dice. Shield response being in the four pool is so sad. Yeah, I don't think I can play this. Oh, let's just, you know, I'm down for just a bait. Actually, no, let's play magical. I'm down. I'm down with that. Ooh, what's this? Tinder. Oh, yeah, this guy's a fucking loser. Deal three self damage mandatory. Take two dam or deal two damage pain, and on death he deals one to all enemies. Extreme weirdo, but I don't know. So I think that start damaged is on the easier end of curses now. Uh, I think small bonus is still pretty hard to click on. Monster right is also okay. There is a whole lot more of just don't miss in the curse pool, I feel. So I'm, I'm gonna go monster right. But anyway, someone asked me in one of the videos recently to tell you what the hotkeys are. So first of all, I think, I think you can find them in the help section. They're, they're somewhere. I don't know, but there's, the hotkeys are somewhere in there. Uh, anyway, I'll go over them real quick while we're in this one. Also, uh, Gardener here is heal two, two mana, heal one growth, uh, sorry, mega growth, in case you haven't seen this. Uh, one damage to poison single cast for two on their spell and heal one mana gain. So pretty solid. And then Tinder I already looked at, kills themselves, deals damage to the enemies. Maybe not so bad, but we'll see. I do click on the growth here. <laughs> Mandatory. Oh, brother. Yeah, so for the characters, it's one... So tar targeting on the characters is one, two, three, four. I don't know how... I don't know if there's like an un-target. That's uh, escape. So it's one, two, three, four, five for the characters. The enemies are shift one through five, or like shift one through whatever, but I don't use those. The spells are Q, W, E, R, and then along the top row for every spell. So like T, Y, U, etc., etc. So... Uh, for me, I just use the mouse to target, and I go like one click, two click. Sometimes I click the five on its own. It's basically how fast my brain can process things more than anything else. More than it is about uh, maximizing, it's just how fast can I process what I'm doing. And I click on the dice because I cannot match the dice to the character. That's just absurd. Here we are. Uh, but yeah, that, those are the keybinds. And... You know, I saw a few people saying they think Mimic is actually pretty good. I think Faye is a little worse in this party. We could pick Mimic here. Mimic gets all middle sides in Petrify order, top to bottom. So he gets like, your middle, your middle, your middle, and then your middle. Like so. You're always gonna have two X's, but give it a spin. I don't mind. I think he's not super good, but he's going to do better in a mana party because he's going to be able to generate mana as well, which is kind of nice. Hmm. Grr. I love the mega growth. I don't know if it's very good, but it is fun to grow. And most of this run is going to be trying to stop myself from getting smoked by a monster right at a bad timing. Uh, we'll see what we can do about it. Hopefully something. But, I don't know, I think that the curse pool expanding makes the game a little less consistent than it was. Which is good, I think that's a good thing. I feel like you, there was a little too much consistency. There's a lot more uh, 
adapting and rolling with the punches. I think there's a lot more playing curses that your party can handle more than anything else. Like I had a run where my party, my starting party was two reds, two grays, and an or or a yellow. It was like a super defensive party. And so I took the curse uh, Skulk, which is turn one, monsters have a plus one. And I just defended and then they did their damage and then they healed and I could play a long game without any trouble. And that was super cool. Just an example. I'm gonna take the random. Rain of Arrows? Sure. Is that topside? It is still topside. Not a big deal. I The tier ones I find, if you don't have at least a little hope of them being useful, you just pass. I'm gonna make a bunch of mana that does nothing for me. Getting thorns to run away. We have to kill one, I think. Yeah. They are immune to all spell effects, so they can't be poisoned. So, uh, I'm just waiting to roll. Yeah, Rain of Arrows got petrified. It's just, this party has like exactly one thing it can do to these guys, and it's Dabble hits a two. Otherwise, we're just going to sit here and wait. They petrify me enough before I hit, I could die. Oh, I mean, I have cleanse, though. I should be locking cleanse so that I can do something. Mm -hmm. I should be shielding, too. Just a real fucking pain, isn't it? They make us all petrified. Cleanse one. Oh, is this the... It is Rain of Arrows. Ooh. Finally. Figured it out. Real Acolyte? No, I'm okay with Acolyte now. Sparky. Sparky is good for this party for sure. It's a shame because he passes on a shitty a shitty side to Mimic, but that's okay. This is a team that's going to be completely centered around whatever this blue is. And today it's Sparky. I have been seeing a little bit of debate on if Sparky is better or worse, and I think that the answer is Sparky is different. It's like... I think that Sparky's spell before was extremely, extremely good. I think it was just so, so powerful, and I think that now his spell is... Why'd you go dot 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 thanks? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. I think now his spell is similar, but it's obviously not the same. Ugh, shade. Autumn leaf for growth on the right. I'm gonna go random. I don't really respect autumn leaf. Yeah, remedy I respect. I think that a lot of cases where you would have used Sparky's spell before, you just can't. So it makes him a little bit worse. Like, he's worse against slates and ghosts, no doubt. Guess I'm gonna grow. But at the same time, he's like... Like, here, if I had old Sparky spell, I would be able to... Oh, not exactly here. Actually, no. Here, if I had old Sparky spell, I could have played to kill this shade. Now I cannot. But that's not the end of the world. Generally speaking, I think that he's about the same as he was before, but you're going to be seeing a lot more of Sparky because he's good when you can support him, and there's a lot more parties that support him. That's what we're going to be seeing, mostly. Zap. Oh, God, I hate this guy. Despise the shade, but he can leave. Herbalist Enchanter. Enchanter, I think, got so much worse. It's actually crazy. Most of the time, flip is pay two mana to make your turn worse, which is super hilarious. It is really something. Uh, I'm sure there's some shit you can do with it, but you have to be spending, you have to make so much mana for that to make sense. And I'm just not about it. You can roll one on Sparky. Okay, let me just lock in. <laughs> They're all fucking... Oh yeah, me too, me too. You're right, me too. I could have killed the middle snake, but I we definitely hear you want to bank mana for the Sparkster. Although he's got it covered. 
He's got that shit on lock. Oh yeah, it is single use as well. I have been playing a little bit of Generate on stream. By the way, if you miss any of the streams and you don't know, you can go check the live tab on my YouTube channel. All of the streams are saved there forever, thanks to Twitch letting me do multi-streaming now. So, if you feel like this much slice and dice content isn't enough for you, uh, I got great news for you. You can go over to the, the streams and you can find an absurd amount more. Like another four hours of content per day. But you do have to uh, endure me talking with Twitch chat and YouTube chat now. Mud boots or abacus? I think abacus is like almost always really good. Something I find this item, oh my god. Like every time I take it, it's so good. I like lead boots, but lead boots, it's very hard to put that on someone. But it is just a plus one. I'm gonna land on it. But it's like, you roll the six heal and you're like, ah oh, man, that sucks. But you put it here and then Acolyte's kind of chilling. So I'll make do. No, Abacus shifting a blank over one for you is almost always very good. Because it gives you uh, the right side blank on the left which very often does something nice. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, before, I mean, Sparky was three for four before, and now it's one for two. Maybe numerically it is better. I don't know. Hmm. Cleanse heal, whatever. Yeah, Monster Rights isn't looking too bad right now, but I think that the biggest problem I have with Monster Rights is that you don't have anything you can do about it if it goes wrong. For sure I'm gonna take Disciple here. The only other character that's better is... Oh no, Vampire would be better now too. Vampire or Druid. And Juggler is really good. Hmm. Oh, but you know what? Mimic doesn't get a good side off of Disciple. Mimic gets double heal. I'm gonna take Juggler. Yeah, Mimic gets the double heal side, so I'm gonna hold off. Even if I get, like, a one-mana character instead of a two-mana character, uh, if, if the one-mana is in the middle, I will be happy with the trade-up. My theory for Juggler, by the way, is you roll the two on turn one, you don't roll it on turn two. Or first roll, second roll, I should say. That's my current working theory. So, one roll remaining, lock in. Two rolls remaining, uh, carry on. Yeah, I'm killing... Let me, let me actually think about this. I'm killing Agnes here first, but I'm doing it because she got hit. Agnes is not very threatening. I should kill Kaita first. It's like more efficient to kill Agnes first. I could kill Agnes here actually, but I'd, I'd prefer to put my damage into Magrat. Agnes is so unthreatening as I always say because wolves are so worthless. And man, we make so much mana. It is crazy how good this is. Ooh, fountain. I'll talk about. I'll tell you what fountain does. Give me a sec. Anti venom's a no. Tiara is a yes. Yeah, I think it goes on Sparkster actually. Hmm. You know what? Mimic in this party is pretty good. I think again the greens you have to be flexible with. Green mimic in a party where you're playing for uh, mana, solid. Anyway, fountain is. All of its HP gives me one mana. I don't really know why it shows up, because it's not like this fight is hard, but hey, I'll take it. This is three. I guess you can roll for for more, because two, two juggle and two mana are both better. Okay, now I lock in on one. Yeah, just in case we whip. Here's our five. And then we go tap first. He won't run away, the imp. So, I'll wait. Three poison on that guy. Why did that die? Am I crazy? Someone watch that back. Was that really on two? I swear that was on more. Oh, they both rolled two. I got it. Medic Priestess. Yeah, even though Medic is worse in terms of overall mana generation. First of all, I think Priestess got so much worse because Prey now has Deplete on it. And the cost goes up every time you cast it, which is fair. 
to be honest. It was like a super strong spell, but Priestess went to five HP. The idea is that you heal four vitality, but Medic is better for Mimic because now we get two two manas. Uh, we don't play lead boots anymore though. One of my biggest flaws I find in this game is that I get so stuck on maximizing value, but it didn't work out that lead boots stays on this team and that's okay. Move on. Basically. God, I also love this juggler. I think juggler is so good now. I already was thinking juggler was good and then she got buff, which is even more absurd. Oh yeah, also again, medic. Renew is now one mana set a hero's HP to four. Very interesting, but I think roughly the same. I'm, I'm actually willing to do this because Reign of Arrows and Let Remedy. I'm sad to lose Remedy, but Reign of Arrows and Lead Boots aren't going to do anything. A cantrip to all pitless sides. Interesting. That's kind of cool. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Uh, so we can take Enchanted Harp or Glyph of Purity or one at random of random tier 5, random tier 4, random tier 6, 2 random tier 3s, 3 random tier 2s, 5 random tier 1s, 10 tier 0s, or a random keyword item. got the five ones. <laughs> you know what? These are pretty good. I'm not mad about it. Okay, so Pipless Sides. This does not count as a Pipless Side. It counts as a zero Pip Side. Or it all changes to the middle column. Hmm. Funny. Does anyone have... Min Do I have any middle column changes that are bad? Heavy and eliminate and one pip to all targeted sides. What happens if you cantrip heavy eliminate? Does you just not go? I'm guessing, yeah. Cleanse to the rightmost side. So the best thing we can do here is give medic this cleanse. Uh, I don't really want knife bag. Bowl is good later, I bet. Also, uh, aha, juggler and biker. This fight is so goofy. So funny when you run into this. Not funny for the juggler. Two mana. It's okay, it's a sparky sweep. He really is, I think, like, he's experiencing one major glow up. We love sparky in this household now. Jumble Ludus. My Mimic is possessed? Really? The game considers Mimic non-magical. Oh, you know why? Because it's going off of his base sides. That's super cool. Uh, you can't pick Ludus here, I don't think. And Jumble is fun. But I think I think Mimic is like, oh man, this is a tough choice. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So what Jumble does, by the way, is he has Fluctuate, so the side changes, but he keeps the pips. So he's just going to have a bunch of random sides here. I don't think you can click on Ludus. I just think it's going to be a little awkward because he's going to be possessed here. But Mimic was, and Mimic was kind of going crazy. We can undo... Do possess, so he does... The bowl doesn't counteract... Uh, fluctuate... Or sorry, possess mandatory, but it does cancel the Fluctuate. Hmm. Interesting. I could do this to him and give him Heavy Eliminate. So Heavy Eliminate means that he has to have the, the target that he ha he's targeting has to have the most and the least HP. So it should make him unable to target basically ever. But I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, what happens here? No valid targets. Okay, so he just doesn't get to swing, which is ideal for me. Jaguar, don't do yourself in on the thorns, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna roll again. Okay. Yeah, no valid targets, as we want. Um, hmm. We can make the juggler live here. 
We're on six. Thorn is dead. No valid targets. Very nice. In like a pretty interesting little bit of tech we can pull off there. Also, uh, because you can't target enemies with mana, if your character that's possessed has a way to cheat into rolling mana, Wendigo gets fucked. So this boss is like, I think there's a lot of ways to get around him, basically. Learn Flare and Duvet. Oh, Flare's a tier three spell. Very valid. This fight is not that scary, I think, because we'll be getting Flare to overkill the bandit. We have Vine to kill Hydra. Duvet is kind of whatever, but I'm down for this. 100 achievements, 101 achievements, 102 achievements. Cool. Item is Conduit or Leaden Handle. Leaden Handle is heavy and plus one to all targeted sides. Remember to take this off a of jumble. Heavy plus one to the mana gain is pretty good, but it's bad on these. Juggler actually uses Leaden Handle pretty well, but I kind of want Conduit. I'm down for Leaden Handle. And just make sure we get our flare on. Patient, to, this is times two if the side, if the character wasn't used last turn, which I guess you could put on. Hmm, I guess you could put it here. Maybe he rolls something he can't click on. Okay. So it's gonna look scary, especially if this Hydra rolls monster right and the Ghost rolls monster right, and oh, they all rolled monster right. Uh, Lamau. It's pretty funny. You should take this. The good thing is that the the juggler just auto hits the hydra here because of the heavy. So that'll make life quite a bit easier, but still a challenge. Blork. Hmm, I'm one mana off. Aren't I? And zap here, vine here, and then burst the ghost. That'll be fine. Juggler's gonna waste all of our throws at the bandit, but I should overkill the ghost here. We should always make the mana. Juggler, no. Oh, great work. Now you got cantrip growth, which is fun. Oh yeah, I need to keep an eye out for no pip sides in the future. I haven't been thinking about that. What you have? You have mana, one damage, one shield. Okay, he rolled a bunch of garbage. I think this is lethal. Yeah, it is. Okay. I got away with it. I wonder if that was the right choice, though. Gabalist. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Interesting, isn't it? I think you can probably take Gabalist here. Wraith is also okay, but I'll go Dabalist. Dabalist, oh, Leaden Handle works on these now too. Yeah, maybe not. It's okay, it doesn't, we don't have to use it. Yeah, sadly it's all targeted side, so I don't get mana plus stuff for that. And that's no good. Okay, I don't mind. Jumble is pretty interesting. I mean, I think he's kind of good here. Well, we just roll for mana. Dude, I love cantrip growth. These fights end too fast for me to really want to start stacking regen, though. Hmm. If I'm going to try to get into nightmare mode and win a run, by the way, I want to try to build these runs out to get something really broken going. Which I find is not too easy. You can roll. All of your sides are super good here. Mana. Charged. I'm going to roll for mana on Medic. Mana. Three cantra, or three, three damage is probably your best hit. Next, I actually hit it. Did not expect. And we go. Sparky just crushes these fights. Oh, Charge Link is pretty sick here. 
We have all this mana gain and then we get charged added in. I'm down. Even if it's single use, I think it's good enough. The, the character who actually uses this the best is probably Jumble. Although he can cantrip into that when it's bad, so maybe not. Yeah, we'll put it on Davilus for now. They keep the keyword, so you keep the heavy. Okay. Ooh. Heal one mana gain. I don't think I want that. Two mana and a three mana is good. Two damage quad use? I do want that. That's okay, Medic. You didn't have to hit mana here. I'm not mad at you. You die. Or I need this one as well. Zap there. And then the quad use clears. Medic is definitely starting to fall off in my estimation. I'll be glad to be rid of her. Maybe for like a doctor or something similar. You know, I'm not too picky. Whatever you want, really. Ooh, flare. He's gonna. Oh, he's not gonna fight it out. I thought he would. Weaver over Sparky. We can play Weaver here. If this wish were replacing Medic, I would think about it. But Weaver. And then you give him charge link, so he gets charged mana gain on three of his sides. We give him a full team of mana support, and oh man, he's gonna make some huge numbers. Two mana, three mana. Heal three, dodge, none of that. Two mana, three mana. I mean, look at this. 21 mana. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna... Blair... Because this is 3 for 3, Flare is actually better value. But I don't want to kill right away. I can. I don't want to kill my Arbalist here, you're not getting great value for it. We'll be killing our Arbalist on this turn. Oh yeah. Oh, he can fluctuate into Groove? Nice. That's pretty good. Good for scaling. Uh, Herbalist is getting crushed here anyway, so let's do a little prep work. Like, she's, there's no reason to keep her alive, because she's just gonna be uh, Omega weak and poisoned anyway. We can just let her die. And then we should have the kill here, barring a disaster. Uh, you rolled regular damage, regular damage, regular damage, damage to all, and death. Very interesting hits, buddy. I believe this is a lethal. I believed incorrectly. It's okay, they'll run. For sure. The criteria, by the way, if you're unaware, the criteria for the enemies to run is you have to have 10 times their health. So you can check it there because I have 20 between these two and they're at 2 HP. Holy Book, cleanse and self-cleanse to the middle row. This team, I think... Hmm. This is an interesting one, I think, actually. Very, very curious choice. What would you pick here? Run the numbers. So, what goes into this choice? There's, there's exactly one thing you should have on your mind here. There's one knowable fact on this run, because we can't pick for the next two or three fights, because I have no idea what's in there. We can pick for our final boss. So if you want to make an optimized choice here, you want to size up who you're going to lose to and then pick towards that. So the bosses are basically in two classifications. Uh, Hexia and Inevitable are the long game bosses where you're going to be fighting it out with them for a while. And Hand and Dragon are the races where you're going to die fast or kill fast. Hexia and... Inevitable because you're playing long, you want poison dip because you're gonna get a lot of value. Inevitable also really does he does very poorly against poison because you proc his intangible and then it goes away immediately. Hexia loses to poison because you put poison on her and then watch her try to kill you while she dies. Uh, Holy Book is better for the other two, Dragon Hand, because 
what's going to kill you on those fights is getting poisoned or petrified, and you can buy an extra turn by cleansing. Or multiple extra turns. Even. Uh, and poison dip is bad versus them because the fight's going to end quickly. So then, with all of this knowledge given to you, what fight do I think is more difficult? I think it's definitely inevitable. Because right now, against Dragon and the Hand, we're just going to build a big mana pool and blow them up. So I believe we should go Poison Dip. And that is the in-depth look at how you make that sort of a choice. And it matters a lot. Like, it matters a ton that you make the correct pick there, I think. Ooh, growth on the guy who's running single use. Very funny. I probably should move that item so that Weaver gets cantrip dodge, actually. Ooh, yeah, this wasn't very good. And there's a three bones spawning in. This only cost me one mana. Um, I like burst flare here. Actually, instead of drop, can I go burst burst flare? I can go burst burst flare. No, I cannot. I cannot count is the problem. The bone spawning in does not bother me, and my herbalist goes to full HP. So we just do this. I am unbothered. No. What's wrong with this? Answer, answer a simple question for me. What don't I like about this? Because there's something very obvious to not like about this. No, actually, it's not very obvious. I won't make you feel silly if you don't see it. The thing to not like here is that you're wasting your one poison. And what you can do instead is this. And then the other bird dies. That's what you want to see there. And now all these bones spawn in, but bones aren't that scary. Uh, oh, they are scary, actually, because of monster, right? You rolled plague? Okay. We're gonna cleanse the weaver. This is five damage, so if I lock this... It's herbalist dying, too. Bones. If Jumble dies, he dies. Cleanse the weaver. So that he can give me three mana. So that I can go... Plague. Rush. Oh, that's the wrong red. Okay. I thought you were targeting Herbalist. You're targeting the other one. Who's killing Herbalist? Just you? No, it's two bones. Joey Bones and his accomplice. Um, very interesting. I shouldn't have locked this shield. I should have gone for damage here. Because I can't save. But I suppose it's okay. We let the jumble go and we put the uh, poison on Kaw and then we just kill the bones. I'm letting the jumble die over the herbalist for sure here. I think that's for sure the right choice. It's just, it's a shame that it goes like that, but oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Hmm, my Dabalist is not showing up today. Good, good. Here we are. Let me see where we are before I make any rash decisions. Can I kill three bones? I can. There you go. Now, I don't love it. But I'm not in like a dire straight here, so we get to roll. Yeah. You want to take the time to see where you are because a lot of times your herbalist is going to just fucking miss. Might be best to let the herbalist die to be safe here. 
Because, again, the safest play to make is, like, Crush, Vine. Just Wisp put up the fucking wall on his health bar. Maybe I can go, like, Crush, One off. Too bad. Okay. Well, Herbalist, you missed, and that's not really my problem, is it? It's a crush. I At this point, if I let all these bones spawn in, I'm probably losing. First. No. It can go... It's close. There's a there's maybe a way to go about it. Vine, vine, vine. One off. That's the issue. I'm one off of having it work out right. Okay, let me let me run through it again. What if I don't crush? It's not super important that I kill this guy and I'm wasting damage into him. We can go four there. Vine burst. Vine burst. Vine. Ah, just barely. Letting another three bones spawn on this curse is way too scary, especially for where we are. Uh, this is the knowable quantity of I'm running out of single-use sides, I'm running out of tricks, and if I try to greed my herbalist life, I'm gonna probably just lose. So, instead, I will do... Okay, let me, let me start fresh here. It goes crush four... Vine burst burst. That's your play. And then it's just me versus this one wisp. And this one wisp, even though he's on 8 HP, he will not. Ooh. Ooh, well. I mean, I'd be surprised. I mean, I'd be surprised. I mean... I'd be surprised. Well, and he's going again. It's okay, this time we're not gonna miss. I actually can't miss from here, but my medic might be killed. Okay. And that's that's the game sometimes. Sometimes you play everything out just right, and then they get you anyway. But yeah, trying to save Herbalist's life to have her be full health for this fight doesn't matter, because I'm probably going to win anyway. And Fate became extremely good in this update, I think. So I will click on Fate. And we're gonna go, I kind of want to go like charge link on fate. Because then we have the charge spread out, you can go charged into charged, which is absurd. And you'll take the self heal. Actually, fate should probably have the self heal, but nah. I keep having runs, by the way, where I pick medic and then I just end up stuck with medic for the whole run, which is such a tragedy. Two mana. 3 mana, 2 mana. Remember I don't have Vine anymore? 1 mana. Dabos, what are you doing? I have enough to kill the Hydra. Oh, I also get some free HP here if I want it. Spell Rescue gives me all my mana back. Could Flare this guy? I think I can flare him later. We just killed the Bork. Sorry, the Hydra. I have a roll, but I'm not going to take it, I don't think. Because if he rolls redirect, I'm sad. Not sad, by the way, I'm losing. You got to play to understand how you lose, and I think I lose for that. Great fluctuate, buddy. Now I just saved my medic somehow. Oh, wait. Uh, didn't realize it, but all of these characters are out. 
Oh, my fault. My fault, medic. That one, that one's on me. You shouldn't have died. I mean, I should have given you a better chance at life. It's not you shouldn't have died. I should have given you a better shot at living. I didn't realize how bad it was. That one is on me. Oh, this is crash for lethal. Second heart is pretty good. Collar, copycat. Copycat lets me copycat the charged onto... Oh, onto Jumble? You can do some goofy shit with that, I bet. Second heart is just double HP, by the way. It's plus one HP for every HP you have. Super good. But I think we're going to plan... Because I took Poison Dip, I don't really feel like I need... Because uh, collar or Second Heart is good for going long. Because more HP means you live longer. Uh, I don't need that now. I want to take this because it lets me burst through the dragon in hand very fast. This is actually a great fight for me because of the snipers. Uh, I can just crush them. Hate chomps. Despise these guys. Oh, he gets Cantrip here. That's cute. Really? We rolled no mana. Sorry, we rolled three mana. Uh, so again, these are the... Ah? Uh, yeah. So it's first 5 HP damage to the top hero, last 5 HP damage to the bottom hero. I am okay versus this because of fate. Having the dodge. Is that a bone? That is a bone. Hmm. Interesting. Is that a... What's that? Targeted cleanse? Okay. This will kill my dabblest. Hmm. I just pop you. Uh... I have nothing to cleanse. I guess you just go burst burst and we hope we don't get uh, Cantrip killed here. Good, good. We need to save Dabalist. Growth on the Fluctuate is cool. Charged. Oh, so this is where it goes ridiculous. Ow! Jumble, what the hell? Bastard. Now it doesn't get ridiculous. That's a big shame. Ah, Axia, okay. Surgeon here for sure. Surgeon does very well versus Hexia. Having my Dabalus die there though is a real trouble. We do get this cleanse. Which is nice. Ugh. Poor Dabalus, man. This is gonna be grim for Dabalus. If Hexia leads off with three demon summons, I can definitely get myself in a lot of trouble here. That's the problem. Playing long versus Hexia here is very hard because eventually she will start summoning three demons at a time. Uh, but if I hit uh, charge, charged, mana, mana, I'm just going to win out. Okay, one demon. Not so bad. Charged. And we definitely play for it. Poison three. I, I, play, I play the poison though. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's 24 mana. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, 27. I can almost kill Hexia. Could have moved Flare off of her. Does still have the cost associated. Uh, okay, that seems like it's probably the right choice. Although, conventional wisdom versus Hexia would be to play here and then just go like crush, 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 revive. First, or no, revive Blair. 
This is conventional wisdom, because conventional wisdom is just play super slow versus X, yeah. What else do you have? You have a fucking roulette side? You have a mandatory... This dude can fluctuate into a one damage mandatory death? <laughs> oh. Oh, this has copycat, by the way. Sorry, I missed this. I was right. There was something I was missing. I was missing a 41 mana here. Okay, so conventional wisdom be danged. Uh, I win here. I have to cast 22 damage worth of bursts. This is another way to beat Hexia, by the way, in case you're curious. You can just do this to her if you have the mana. He fights. Oh my god, he wins. Oh, okay. That works too. Very viable. Uh, yeah, it did not click until uh, the second time through that I had that copycat, and it works like that. I was just thinking it was stuck on Cantrip. Right on. Uh, very fun. I, I actually like this guy a lot. I think he's very fun. Uh, he's probably... He's very high rolly, but I think he's going to average out to be all right. I mean, ultimately, 10 HP, pretty solid. And yeah, I think this party is super strong. Because you can always force a good blue, and there's a lot of good mana gain reds now, like Fate. I, I truly think Fate became uh, one of the best reds in this update. The, I've always said it, if you ever get a plus one on her middle side, this character becomes so crazy because heal shield mana gain two is an insane amount of value. And now she just has two of those out of the box. Incredible. And uh, charged link with Weaver. Ha. Huh. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Drop a comment. Tell me what you want to see later. I'm probably going to nightmare mode with this party and then I'll take a few others that I've played through nightmare mode as well. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.